Jack Hartley. We're with uh, Burgundy Oak, and we make everything out of wine barrels, made by hand in Canada. And this is the rest of the team here. Here they are. There's Nick. All right, Nick. Sir. Nick White, pleasure to meet you. Lauren Alton. Uh, Joel Jolinski. To give you guys a bit of a uh, background on how the company started, was actually uh, I was uh, my mom wanted to do a little craft for all her friends, and she wanted me to make some some old wine barrels. So I actually ended up making a couple candle holders. And I did it when I was about 12 years old. It was a pretty, uh, pretty funny picture of me way back when. I'll have to give it to you guys to post. But um, and then I went to university, was doing my degree, and did a little hobby, and started something to pay for my education. At the same time, Zach was starting to build smokers out of the cabin. You yeah, hear this story. Yeah, we were out at the cabin. My family's been vacationing out in BC for about 10 years now, and so uh, we went to a rib fest out there. But we wanted to be able to make the exact same ribs back at the cabin without going out to the regular Home Depot and buying a smoker. So what we did was we took a wine barrel, we converted it into a smoker just like the one you see here and we used this thing for three years before we made one more barrel we brought it back into Calgary Alberta and uh, then we put a little photo on Instagram and before soon we had some attention from a couple of media stores a little media station and we sold five smokers in our first day ever since then we've been ramping up production we've got we're bringing in barrels by the truckload now we've got three guys that are manufacturing products for us everything is made by hand in Canada and everything is done from authentic wine barrels and so we do everything now from a smoker like this to a wine barrel liquor cabinet like what you see behind us. We've got a barrel head clock made from the authentic wine barrel. And what's neat about what we do is every single piece tells a story. Some of the barrels are lighter, some are darker, some are American oak, some are French oak. And each barrel is unique in its color, its description, and how it looks. And to show you what we do, we take a lot of pride in the fact that everything's made from real wine barrels and everything is made by hand in Canada. So every Every single piece we do comes with a certificate of authenticity, with a little bit of information about the product, and a unique serial number. We can go onto our website, you can register your product, and we're going to send you a unique gift made from a wine barrel right in the mail. On the back side here, you know, a little bit of a story about how we started the company and the signature of our owners. Ready to go to signify that yes, this is a real wine barrel, it's made by hand, it's made in Canada, and it's made by Burgundy Oak. Hey, uh, maybe you should give someone else a. Uh, oh, here it comes. Okay. There you go. Tor and Nick. Talk about it. <laughs> These are actually the brains behind the, ma the machine, right? We're just discussing who's the looks and who's the brains, but uh, I guess neither think? of us well, were looks. They, did, they didn't help. Yeah, yeah. 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 Who's the looks? Throw up a Let poll. Throw up a right, poll. Exactly. Get in here. We gotta throw up a poll. Who's the I'm the so new guy. So we got. So get out of the way. There. Right, yeah. <laughs> we got Zach, Torin, two, three, Nick. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, man. Sorry. Come on. And Joel. Let's get in there. Oh, he's flexing. Let's see the ring fingers, guys. Uh oh. Nope. Uh, okay. Oh. So, all right. these guys are all available, girls. Yeah, that's right. Hey, hey. Ladies, <laughs> ladies, torn off. That looks like Tim McGraw. Yeah, <laughs> What's your favorite thing you guys are making right now? That would be so good. Put <laughs> Okay. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> favorite thing has to be the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, you can't take it seriously. <laughs> would have to be the arcade grade over here. Let me walk sure. through it. <laughs> So our keg right here comes with everything inside. You can pour wine, whiskey, juice, pop, jungle juice if you want. That's what you guys are into. Let me get that. <laughs> I can't be serious. We're, <laughs> we're guiding him so I can fit him in the screen yeah, here. Here we go. So we have a CO2 tank, Cornelius tank that you fill with whatever, puts it through 100 feet of stainless steel coil. So you throw a bucket of ice in there, uh, which will cool seven pints at a time. You'll be able to pour that out, wait 30 seconds before another seven pints be poured through there. So this is our probably one of our biggest pull points on people outside. It's what we're using people pulling people up to the booth here. Uh, we're pouring rum out of our mini barrel and coke out of our tap here. So what was he saying about the, the rum? I mean, just in that little mini barrel there? Yeah, so this is an oak barrel that's been toasted in the inside. So because of the surface area compared to the volume, uh, any other random cast comes to barrel, you put something in there for two months, it's like aging it for another year. So you can taste the difference of the oak in the barrel and in the rum. So it's pretty, uh, pretty cool stuff. So that's my personal favorite. That's Alan. Okay. Yeah. One, oh. two, three, go. Oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> you look like a little girl. 
He's a gorilla. So this is the view from uh, our buddies from Spokane Furniture, where they obviously make the big bucks compared to us, because yeah, look at this. And those wires that you can kind of see out there. Yeah, that's a massive zip line. That's how they go down for breakfast every morning. This is our buddies from Spokane Furniture, and they have taken us to where we Ping Ping Pong. Ping Ping Pong. Is, that is chicken feet. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Knuckle bump your chicken feet. There, there you go. <laughs> that chicken, the chicken food is do you just do you just the eat the, the meat off? The <laughs> Use a fork. <laughs> so, Rob. Yes, sir. Uh, where are we at? We right now are at a bar called Hennessy's Tavern. And what do we do here? One of our absolute favorite stops, at least once, probably more like two to three times. Yes. We come for what we call pickleback. That's right. Now that is Jameson yep. and pickle juice. <laughs> All right. So here's how we do this. This makes this go away. That's a scientific idea. That, he's very scientific. Yeah, he is. Very. <laughs> All right. All right, friends. To my friends, to my family, I love you guys. Love you.